الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه الغر الميامين ومن سلك على نهجهم وعلى سنتهم إلى يوم الدين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وعلموا عباد الله أن أحسن الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل, محدث وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أعاذنا الله وإياكم من الضلالات We praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى We exalt him, we glorify him We send our salat and salam upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear brothers, the time that the Muslim Ummah going through, especially in the land of the Sham, which is the blessed land of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is indeed a trial and the tribulation that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prophesied before. If we look to the Imam Muslim, rahimahullah, we see he dedicated a chapter, a book called Kitab al-Fitan wa Ashrat al-Sa'a, the book of tribulations and the signs of the day of judgment. The scholars, when they speak about this issue that going on in the Bilad al-Sham in the Syria, they speak from the knowledge that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left for us as a legacy to get the guidance in this time of the difficult. In this time of the difficulty, a Muslim should not only follow his own desires and the emotion. He should go with the knowledge that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left. <coughs> Most of the scholars, those who are on the right path and on the path of the Salaf al-Salih, they tell this, this issue that is happening in the land of the Syria or in the land of the Sham, actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preparing this land for something big that is about to happen. And everybody of us we know, today inshallah we'll try to know what, Subhana, what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam foretold us regarding what is happening exactly in the time that we are going through. First of all, every Muslim, beside knowing this heritage, he should be doing dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, particularly for our Muslim brothers, those who are suffering. No language can express ever how every single Muslim feel in terms of sorrowness and sadness in their heart of what our Muslim brothers and the sisters and particularly the children and the babies, the women and, and elderly people what they are facing in the land of the Sham. As you are aware of those incidents for long, long years now. And the civil war is going day after day to the scenario which is the worst than the previous time. No human being can ever imagine someone can attack with a chemical attack on the people, on the innocent civilians. And this is, subhanallah, if we look to this, our heart turns into bloodshed. And what we should be doing is dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our Muslim brothers. Since these things happening, how many of us actually doing dua for our Muslim brothers so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala solve their problems and free them from all this injustice? 
My dear brothers, <coughs> if we to hope the coming days are better, or coming days will be better, we are actually living in a dream world. What Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa told exactly in authentic narration, what is coming is more worse than what been passed. And this is particularly regarding to the Bilad sham Let us see what Imam al-Muslim rahimahullah mentions regarding the tribulations that Muslim Ummah, especially in this area, will go through before the Day of Judgment will take place. One of the narration, Imam Muslim narrated, Rasulullah sallallahu told us, لا إله إلا الله ويل للعرب من شر قد اقترب فتح اليوم من ردم يأجوج ومأجوج مثل ذهذه one day Rasulullah woke up from his sleeping and he says, La ilaha illallah. The, the trials and the tribulation are closest to the Arabs. As the barriers of the Gog and Magog been opened, the amount. And he indicated. So this is the beginning of the trials. Rasulullah telling the companions is coming. In another narration he said, I see the trials and tribulations are coming through your houses and I see exactly which places the trials will take place as the rains coming out from the heaven. So the trials and the tribulation will come upon this Ummah until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala distinct between the khabith and the tayyib, the pure one and unpure one. Who can have the sabr and the patience in face of the tribulations? <coughs> One of the narration mentioned under this chapter, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "Sa'al tu Rabbi thalathan." I asked my Allah three things. Fa'atani thintaini wa manani wahid. He gave me two, and he said, "The third one, Allah did not. Allah subhanahu wa taala did not give me." What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give me is that the dua Rasam told and asked and supplicated to Allah not to destroy this Muslim ummah by each other. Meaning one Muslim group will destroy another Muslim group. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not grant this dua to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is also one of the reasons of the tribulations and the trials we see how Muslim each other killing each other. And that especially started in that land. And the later on, we find how the others invaded the land and came and took the place on that. And this is also again mentioned in the hadith, which is <coughs> narrated by Sahabi Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He says, Mana'ati li'iraqu dirhamaha wa qafizaha ومنعت الشام مديها ودينارها ومنعت مصر إردي إردبها ودينارها وعدتم من حيث بدأتم وعدتم من حيث بدأتم وعدتم من حيث بدأتم. He said the Iraq would would hold his dinar and dirham and the Syria would would hold his dinar and Egypt also would hold his irbad and the dinar. And then Rasulullah Sallam said you will go back the way you started. Meaning the Muslim will go back to the position they started. Badal Islam gharibaan wa sayyaudu kama bada'a. Islam started as a strangers and it will come back to that level. And the muhaddithun they says in this hadith indication that the non-Arab al-Ajam, another narration explained who will take or prevent the Egypt and the Syria and the Iraq to withhold his dinar and the currencies and his food and his supplies. And the narration says, Al Ajam, non Arabs. So here says, non Arabs, they will control this land. When they will be fighting, will start within the Muslim groups. So this is exactly the consequence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told in his, told to his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For the wisdom why he did not grant to secure Muslim Ummah. 
Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told his messenger, if your ummah will be fighting each other, then Allah yusallitu alaykum a'adakum. Allah will make your enemies overtake you and to control you. And this exactly this is what happening. And then if we go more, <coughs> one of the chapter, Imam Muslim design says, Babu fi fathil qustun tuniya wa khuruj al-dajjal wa nuzul Isa ibn Maryam. The chapter of conquest of Constantinople and the emergence of the Dajjal and the descent of the son of Maryam. Jesus, peace be upon him, Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. And then under this chapter, he says, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Umranu bayt al-Maqdisi kharabu yathrib wa kharabu yathriba khuruju al-Malhama wa khuruju al-Malhamati fathu qustuntuniya wa fathu qustuntuniyati khuruju al-Dajjal. It's a sequence, the hadith mentioning the sequence. <coughs> says <coughs> when the state of is state of jerusalem will be flourishing this is the time when the yathrib medina will be in ruin which is not taken take which did not take place yet meaning for the medina to be ruined jerusalem masjid al-aqsa will be flourishing meaning it will be under the monotheism and when the Kharabu Yathrib, the Medina will be in ruin. Khurujul Malhama, that is the time the great war will take place. And all these small wars that we see in the land of the Sham is a beginning and introduction that coming to the biggest war. What we see nowadays as a chemical attack or this attack, all this attack is nothing compared to what is coming forth. Is more worse will take place. And he says, وَخُرُوجُ الْمَلْحَمَةِ And the coming out of the great war is the فَتْحُ الْقُسْتَنْتَنِيَ This is the time when the conquest of the Constantinople will take place. And Constantinople, they say, this is the place in the Turkey. But Turkey is in the hand of the Muslim right now. But it will go away from the Muslim soon. And then after all this happened, then again it will come back to the Muslim when the Muslim and the Christian will fight each other against a common enemy. And we see the scenario is taking place. And says, When the conquest of the Constantinople will take place, this is the time the Antichrist, the Jal, will appear. And this is the time exactly when the Imam Mahdi and Isa والسلام, will come to the land. <coughs> Another narration which is the Babu Taqumu Sa'atu wa Rumu Aktharun Nas. The Qiyama, the hour will begin on the state when the Byzantines, mean Romans, they are the one who will form the majority of the inhabitants of this world. So the, for the Qiyama to happen, the most of the people who will lead and rule this world in terms of the authority and in terms of the Followers are the Romans and the constant and, and the Byzantines. And look this beautiful hadith in the Muslim. Sahabi Amr ibn As <coughs> he narrates the hadith. Rasulullah told us The hour and the day of judgment will happen when the Romans would form a majority amongst the people. Faqala Amrun and the Amr says Absir ma taqul. Look, watch what you are saying, the one who narrating the hadith. He says, أَقُولُ مَا سَمِعْتُ مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ I'm telling you what I have heard from Rasulullah صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ I'm not saying from myself. قَالَ إِنْ لَإِنْ قُلْتَ ذَلِكَ إِنَّ فِيهِمْ لَخِصَارًا أَرْبَعًا If you are saying what it is from Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم, then know why Romans will take and will form the majority among us, the people, while the Qiyamah will take place? Because they have the four qualities and the characteristics. The Romans and the Byzantines, meaning the European and the Americans, they have four qualities. <coughs> and he says, Innahum la ahlamun nasi inda fitnatin wa asra'uhum ifaqatan ba'da musibatin wa awshakuhum karratan ba'da farrah 
وخيرهم لمسكين ويتيم وضعيف وخامسة حسنة جميلة وأمنعهم من ظلم الملوك A Muslim, he is a Muslim because he stands for the truth and the justice. Even if it goes against he himself. And acknowledging others if they have the good qualities. This is what the Sahabi was saying. These Romans would form the majority on the earth before the day of judgment will take place because they have these qualities. Total five qualities. Number one, he says, they have the power of tolerance and the patience among us the people at the time of the trials and the tribulations. Whenever trials take place, you will see these Romans, they have very, very tolerant mind and the patience, which Muslims should possess. But they are very tolerant and smart people in terms of dealing their trials. Not like Muslim, like anything happens, just started screaming and shouting and saying something. But they have a system. This word the Sahabi telling this why Allah gave them this quality, this position. And saying, وَأَوْشَكُهُمْ كَرَّةً بَعْدَ فَرَّةً And they have the power to restore themselves to the sanity after the attack or the turmoil. And also they have the power to attack again after the flight. And says, and they have the quality of good and virtuous to the destitutes, to the orphans, and to the poor and to the weak. And this is what world witness. Europe, Europeans and the Americans and the Romans, they have the quality and say, Hasanatun Jamila, this is a very good quality. That they have the quality of being sympathetic and being good towards the destitutes, orphans, poor and weak people. I remember, I think one year before, <clears throat> and this is known to us. The missionaries, you know, our ulama, they can only sometimes these people, they can scream back home we see. The missionaries coming and changing the religion of the society. And while you are sitting down on the member and you are sitting in your houses, you are doing nothing for the society. Community work, no. In terms of social activities, helping others, needy. <coughs> Abdullah ibn Salam, one of the rabbi of the Jew, he's the Rabbi had, when he came to the Medina, he says, the first time I came to Medina to witness Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I saw a man was speaking and his face shows the truth and you can smell the fragrance of the truth from his face. And he was saying, Ayyuhan Nas, all oh human being, he was not addressing Muslim only, he was addressing Muslim, non-Muslim alike. Ayyuhan Nas, Afshu Salam. وَأَطْعِمُوا الطَّعَامُ وَصَلُّوا بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّاسُ نِيَامُ تَدْخُلُوا الْجَنَّةَ بِسَلَامُ Oh people, spread salam. Feed people. Feed people. Pray salah at night while people are in sleep. So he said, this statement has effect on my heart. And it was a motivator for him to accept Islam. So Islam, before anything, is asking us to serve the society, to help others, needy, destitutes. To get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will find in the Muslim land, Wal-Iyadu Billah, may Allah safeguard us. <coughs> in terms of the security, is zero. In terms of justice, is zero. In terms of helping the needies, looking after disabled. Subhanallah, the society that we are living, look how much they develop their systems. Even there are, there are translators and the sign language facilitated for the people who cannot who cannot listen here the facilities for the disabled anywhere you go anywhere any offices any gp office any anywhere you'll find the special space for the disabled people this is what the muslim should be doing in first place and then you claim you want to be the power in the power there's imam ibn taymiyyah rahimullah he says <coughs> الدنيا تصلح بالكفر والعدل ولا تصلح بالظلم والإيمان. Allah will give the dunya power of the dunya, the one who has the justice, even if he has the kufr. But he will not give the authority and the power of the dunya if he has the iman, but he has the oppression. Allah will not give these things. 
That is why in the time when the Isa alayhi salatu will come down, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger describing, Yanzilu fikum Isa ibn Maryam hakaman adlan qista. After all this oppression that we see, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Jesus peace be upon him, he will come down to this dunya, to this world, as a ruler, as a just ruler, to prevail the just. وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا اِعْدِلُوهُ أَقْرَبُ لِلتَّقْوَى Because of the enmity of certain people should not let you stop of saying the justice. Do justice and say the justice even if it goes against yourself. And this is why we Muslim Ummah we failed in the most of the cases. But the Romans, they have the first hand in this regard. This is the quality. The point I was saying, missionaries changing all these things, all these stuffs. But what is our social activities in terms of helping the needy and destitutes? Why bury lay people from the society? I am calling, I'm telling, particularly in our country back home in Bangladesh. We used to know there's a, there's a banks, they give the, the money as a land and take the riba interest out of, the, out of it in justice. <coughs> And the ulama, they have right to say against it. And they said it very strongly. But the ulama, they have to give the different substitute, or they have to give the alternative for the poor people, not to engage with the riba. You only give lecture, that's it, your job is done. What about your engagement with the society, with the community, helping them? So the other will take the place. One of the famous men from the New Zealand, Roderick, one year before he's shown, he, he went long time before Bangladesh. <coughs> in the remote area, this man gone there. He established the hospital he himself. And he used to bring the money back from his home and used to serve the poor people in the land. Free prescription. And you see the Muslim doc doctors in our country, Muslim doctors, if you have no disease even, they'll give you that long test. It will recur you 500 pounds, 600 pounds. He wants your money, not servicing you. And the others, the Romans, you see their qualities. And this indeed, the justice system. Justice system in the country that we are living. Subhanallah, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told by his tongue of companions, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, why Allah will give them this power. Human rights. There is no such call human rights in the Muslim land. But you will, you will find human rights and everything. But Rasulullah told us the human rights and the animal rights. A camel was crying before Rasulullah was shedding tears and speaking to him. Rasulullah understood his language. He was complaining that his owner using him for the hard job but doesn't give him enough food. Rasulullah called the owner of the camel and said, Your camel complained to me that you are using beyond his capacity. And you are not providing him with enough food, the camel. This is the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi told us, and we Muslim ummah, we left this legacy of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When others will take this legacy, Allah will give them the power. This is Allah Sunnah. Allah will not going to favor you because you only believe in Allah. This is in the day of judgment. But for the running the dunya, you have to have the justice and the qualities of the human rights, and the sympathy is not in the lecture in the in the real world. My dear brothers, Allah, we need desperately in this society, our children. If we can, if we at least can help our own children in this society that we are living. The way they are going to the drugs. The way they are going to the joy riding. I think most of you have seen in the Facebook within the last few months, what has taken place of the, in the street, in the street, I think in Spark Hill, Muslim Boys, so-called gangsters, they stop the car in the middle of the road and one group come out from the car with a stick and hitting the another car and the fighting on the street. And this is the message we are giving to Muslim, to the non-Muslim in our society. Wallahi al-Azim, if we don't do the shukur that the ni'mah Allah gave through the hands of the non-Muslim in this society, how to do the shukur is to help 
and to help these members of the society. And especially if you cannot do for others, do save your own children from the massacres and from this, all these chaos, from the drugs problems. A time comes, Muslims should show the solidarity and harmony and the peace to the society. A time comes, me another chaos in our society. So-called joyriding. You are riding in such a way that you are killing people. What is the simple behavior that the mannerism, the adab, the manner of Islam taught us? What is it? Is lost from us, my dear brothers. Wallahi la yatiyanna. على الناس زمان لا يدري القاتل في أي شيء قتل لا يدري المقتول على شيء قتل A time will come in the top of the peak of that tribulation people will know will not know why he been killed or the one who killed why he has killed this is what is the time we, go, we are going through I don't have that much time but I will conclude with one of the beautiful hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this time of the tribulations and the fitna. Allah's Messenger told us the hadith in the Muslim, Badiru bil amali sitta. Hasten to the good days before the six things take place. These are the major six signs of the day of judgment. They are yet to come and they are very soon to come. Tulu shamsi min al maghrib, rising the sun from the west, awid dukhan or the smoke. <coughs> Are with Dajjal or the Antichrist? Are with Dab or the Beast? Our Khasat Ahadikum or Amr al Amma or the death of one of you or the general turmoil in the Muslim Ummah? <coughs> and Rasulullah said, and another on the narration, Al Ibadatu fil Haraji kal Hijrati ilayya. Doing Ibadat in the time of the trial and the tribulations is like the reward of doing migration to me. So that we see the trials and the tribulations. First of all, we do dua for our Muslim brothers. Second, we need to change ourselves. We need to engage in the society work. We need to engage in saving our own family members, our own children. People are doing the jihad in the Westminster. They are doing jihad in this land. They are doing jihad, all this false, all this false so-called jihad by the name of the jihad and the twisting. And he cannot do jihad by waking up for the Fajr Salah. You cannot do jihad by saving yourself from the your children from the drugs. And he's doing jihad in the here and there. All the twisted concept of the jihad. And I think one of the reasons the Muslim Ummah are deceived or others also getting the misconception is misunderstanding of the word jihad. The jihad is, the, is a military system in a Muslim land governed by the government. Not anyone can do the jihad. Is the government will be doing. And you cannot wake up even for the Fajr Salah. You cannot save your own children from the drugs. You cannot behave well with your own wives. And you are doing the jihad. All these false things you are claiming. Change ourselves. We need to change ourselves, myself. Wake up for the Fajr Salah. Hasten to the good deeds before the main turmoil comes. When the Tawbah will not be accepted. When the sun will rise from the west. May Allah give us guidance. Give the Muslim Ummah guidance. May Allah give us tawfiq to save our children and engage with the community work and to save and make our community safe and secure. And then this is the way the non-Muslim will see and know, yes, Muslims in this society, they are actually thinking for the welfare of everybody. Allah sent the Muslim Ummah to, came to take out of the human being from the darkness, from the all injustice, to liberate them, to save them from the hellfire. أقولوا ما تسمعون واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ثم أما بعد ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا في ما أعطيت والله ما دير بذس our screaming our all these negative approaches when we see the tribulations most of the people on the world in terms of those who are Muslim 
when they see injustice going on on the Bilad Sham, in the land of the Sham, what they do or reaction is always most of the time is the wrong reactions. The main reaction should be number one, we go, we go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We rectify ourselves. We do tawbah and istighfar. We do lots of tawbah and istighfar. This is the rectification for ourselves, for our sins, Allah punishing. And then, my dear brothers, we have to do dua in the deep night for our Muslim brothers. One, shed, one tears from your, from your eyes in the deep night is enough for Allah to solve the problems of the Muslim ummah. Wallahi ad dua ad dua ad dua ya ibad Allah. Allahumma ja'alna min al-ladhin istami'oon al-qawla fa yattabi'oon ahsana. Ibad Allah sallu ala al-bashir al-nadhir. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم ارحم عبادك المسلمين المظلومين في بلاد الشام اللهم ارحمهم يا رب العالمين اللهم احق دماءهم يا رب العالمين اللهم عليك بالظالمين اللهم خذهم أخزى عذيذ مقتدر اللهم أهلكهم كما أهلكت فرعون وقوم تبع وقوم أصحاب رس يا رب العالمين اللهم أهلكهم اللهم زلزل تحت أقدام الظالمين اللهم فرق بنيانهم اللهم شتت شمل الظالمين يا رب العالمين اللهم وحد صفوف المسلمين على الإيمان وعلى التوحيد وعلى السنة يا رب العالمين عباد الله وأقيم الصلاة قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة